The Negativity Bias Why Bad Memories Linger We've all been there, replaying an embarrassing moment, awkward social blunder, or harsh criticism over and over again in our minds, while positive experiences and accomplishments seem to fade into the background of our memories all too quickly. This phenomenon, known as the negativity bias, is hardwired into the human psyche as an evolutionary survival mechanism. Our ancestors, who were more attuned to potential threats, dangers, and negative occurrences in their environment, had a better chance of avoiding the risks of predators, hazards, and scarcity. They quite literally survived to pass along those brain patterns oriented toward negative information and experiences. While this bias toward the negative helped early humans avoid looming risks, it lingers on today in the modern mind, causing us to dwell obsessively on insults, rejections, failures, and criticisms from others, holding on to them far more easily than uplifting positive feedback. Even seemingly tiny negativities can loom large, like the subtle frown or look of annoyance from a boss that replays itself on a mental loop. The impact of the negativity bias penetrates deep into our thought patterns and emotional experiences. Negative events and interactions seem to register more vividly in our memories and have a much stronger, stickier effect on our psyches than positive occurrences. Even masked negative expressions flashed for a split second can subconsciously put people in a worse mood without their conscious awareness. Over time, this imbalance recollection and tendency to prioritize and latch onto the negative fuels anxiety, depression, pessimistic mindsets, and chronically low self esteem. We have a tendency to ruminate incessantly over criticisms, unsavory comments, and perceived slights dwelling on and internalizing our flaws and shortcomings, while any positive praise, encouragement, or commendations get quickly forgotten or discounted. While there's no doubt that an excess of harsh, unrelenting self-criticism can veer into unhealthy, unproductive self-loathing, a moderate inner voice of honest self-evaluation can actually be motivating and catalyze positive change. Having objective self-awareness of our authentic weaknesses and areas in need of improvement when balanced with self-compassion can inspire us to take steps to grow. People able to look at themselves critically while also extending understanding toward themselves tend to cope better with perceived failures, rejections and setbacks. They can acknowledge flaws or mistakes in a clear-eyed way, learn from those experiences and make firm resolutions to adapt and improve, without descending into counterproductive rumination or negative self-talk that undermines their efforts. That harsh critic within each of us need not be banished or suppressed entirely, but instead of browbeating us into paralyzing inaction, the conscious, disciplined inner voice can be reframed as a constructive driving force toward constructive change and personal growth. The key lies in striving for an accurate, fair inner narrative that neither justifies nor judges, but simply acknowledges reality. It means learning to talk to ourselves with more nuance than the extremes of overly rosy delusion or negative self-demolition. Take the example of receiving a poor performance review at work. An overly negative, emotionally laced interpretation like, I'm such a failure, I'll never succeed at anything, I'm totally worthless only breeds inertia, hopelessness, and resignation. It becomes a self-fulfilling prophecy. But a more balanced self-assessment that looks at the situation through a pragmatic lens, like that performance review, was a wake-up call that I need to manage my time better, be more proactive about communicating my workload, and not take on more than I can handle can motivate legitimate behaviour changes and improvements. It generates momentum and drive rather than resigned stagnation. So notice your negative thought patterns and look for objective evidence contradicting them. For every self-criticism like I'm terrible at public speaking, complement it with an honest self-affirmation about your strengths. 
like, but I am a great listener, and people really respond to my empathy one-on-one. -on -one. Set a firm time limit for processing a negative event or piece of critical feedback, like 10 minutes to feel disappointed or frustrated, then consciously move into solution-oriented thinking and planning. Practice self-compassion by talking to yourself like you would to a good friend, with understanding and encouragement, not harsh judgment. Most importantly, focus on progress and sincere effort, not perfection. Small steps and incremental gains in a positive direction are incredible victories on the path of growth, not reasons to bash yourself for not reaching lofty extrinsic goals yet. Overcoming the strong negativity bias ingrained in the human mind and achieving a balanced, compassionate yet motivating inner voice is an ongoing process, one of patience, self-study, discipline and gentle redirection. Old hardwired habits of mind die hard, but the profound emotional payoff of liberating ourselves from negativity's stronghold is immense. More optimism, resilience, equanimity, and the drive to continually grow. With practice, the harsh critic within can be transformed into a motivating coach. Our thoughts and inner mental processes have a powerful capacity to shape our emotions, self perceptions, motivation, behaviours, and ultimately, our lives. By becoming aware of the negativity bias hardwired into the human mind, we can consciously train ourselves to filter out the negative static and limiting self-talk and be more attuned to positive data, constructive feedback, and a process-oriented mindset. Combined with a balanced, compassionate self-critique guided by wisdom and undertaken with sincere intentions, this retrained outlook can be a powerful force for personal growth, skilled mastery, and fulfilment across all domains of our lives. While society often misguides us to equate ruthless self-flagellation with self-improvement, true personal excellence and thriving arises from an integrated place of radical self-acceptance. It's only when we embrace our whole selves, strengths, flaws, inadequacies and all, that we can tap into our deepest inner reserves of courage, resilience, creativity and possibility as human beings. The negativity bias toward insult, negativity and harsh judgment is an evolutionary relic hardwired into our operating systems in the transition from hunters-gatherers to civilised beings. But the fresh frontier awaiting us is transcending that mind virus and witnessing the profound flowering of human potential that arises. The path inward to self-compassion, honesty and nurturing growth is one of life's greatest adventures, enabling us to flourish as the radically alive, awake and fully conscious beings we're capable of becoming. Thank you for watching this video on Horoscope and Astrology Daily on YouTube. If you have enjoyed this video and would like to support this channel, then please hit the like button and subscribe.